Traders from around the world, it's me, Ricky Cadden, at Real Life Trading Australia. I trust you are doing stupendously serendipitous today. What a day. Uh, let's take a look at the markets. Not a great deal happening. Uh, so this is going to be quite a quick review. SPY gapping up only just a little bit. It wasn't it's not really a whole lot happening today. If you take a look at the five minute, we were very, very choppy today. Very, very sideways. Um, but uh, if we take a look on the daily, you can't really see it here on the SPY. But if we take a look at the ES, the E-minis futures, we did form a really nice bear, uh, bullish, bullish flag. And I did speak about, you know, this may occur um on, on Tuesday. So um, from here, we really need to be getting above, uh, what is this, 29.10. We really need to be getting above this level before we start to move higher. Um, so if we do get above these highs, look for a retest and then a, high, uh, and then a breakout higher. And if we do, uh, we will most likely see some new all-time highs in the next couple of weeks. But uh, if we do fail from here and um, if we fail to do so, we will most likely, you know, create like a nice little double top, oops, nice little double top and then probably roll back down to the moving averages in there and then slowly move higher. Let's take a look at Square. Um, beautiful breakout. Uh, we spoke about this on Tuesday as well, saying that most likely we're going to have a sideways day um, and we could either break down or this could just break higher. Um, so most likely we're going to keep going on square. Um, target on square is going to be, yeah, I mean, we're at the 200, we're almost at the 200 now. So realistically, if we don't pull back here, I'd probably expect us to come to about $78 um, and then most likely come up and then retest these moving averages and then slowly grind higher. But that's SQ, looking bullish. Um, plenty of real life traders in this trade. Um, so well done to everyone who caught that. Here's Roku. Uh, Roku just <laughs> being Roku, the rocket. Roku the rocket. Um, just this this thing is just going to keep going higher, guys. Um, keep buying the dips. We haven't really had a dip buying opportunity yet. There's a lot of sideways choppiness action happening. Um, so and we did have a nice little retest gap right here. So you know, probably look for a nice pullback. I'm still waiting to buy the dip on Roku, but. Long term, looking great. If you're in shares, keep holding or look to take some profits as we move higher. I need to give a shout out to my good friend, Helen, who put me on to the Shemmers company, ticker symbol CC. Uh, let's take a look at the weekly. And we almost have a per, almost two pennies, two pennies off a perfect tweezer bottom on the weekly chart. Um, and if I just draw these quick Fibonacci here, we did just come down to the 618. So this is an absolute glorious pullback. And as you can see, this was their IPO date back in 2015. So uh, we have come back down to retest these lows. Looks really, 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 really good for a long. Um, on the daily, if I just turn on the short term moving averages, you know, we're above the 10, we're, we're retesting the 20 now. We did have a nice, cute little retest gap four days ago, or well, three days ago, sorry. And we did retest, and well, we did retest, and are slowly going higher. So from here, I mean, you know, we could probably expect to see a little bit of resistance here, but this is a really great long-term buying opportunity on ticker symbol CC. So if you're in it, well done. Here's Amazon, just looking absolutely amazing. Um, a lot of people making a lot of money at Real Life Trading off this glorious bounce here that we spoke about just two weeks ago. Um, so Amazon, looking great, stay long. Not a great deal to say about Amazon, to be honest. Great company, Ever, a lot of people use their products. Um, and yeah, so here's, here's Western Digital. 
Another beautiful, beautiful setup on the long-term scale. So if you take a look on the weekly, we are at a glorious support level right here, right? Now, also, if you take a look at the monthly chart on the long-term moving averages, we are at the 200 simple moving average. Now, we have had a really, really nice pullback you know, from the highs you know, of 2018, we have had a really nice pullback from, you know, $100 all the way back down to 30. Great company. I mean, I use, I'm, I'm always using their, their products for storing all my files and everything else. If you've got a computer, most likely you have Western digital parts in your computer. So, I mean, be it, you want to be an owner rather than a speculator. And I mean, this is a really great time to buy long term. So WDC looking good for a long term investment. Me personally, I'm in some long term call options. But from here on the daily, looking, looking, looking really, really cute, forming a nice little one white soldier candle today at support. So with really great volume, actually, I did just notice that. So um. Yeah, WD, WDC looking really great. Check out that volume. Wow. Um, okay, sweet. Here's Barber, Alibaba, ticker symbol BABA. Uh, we did have a nice little retest gap and we retest the 200 um, after this nice little double bottom. So from here, guys, this is a really great long-term opportunity as well. We, are, we did have this nice double bottom pattern um, back at the end of 2018 and we have come back down to retake, uh, retest this neckline. So this is a really great long-term opportunity to, to, to buy. Uh, you want to buy as low as possible, obviously, but if you just take a look at the daily, it was a, it was a retest gap on the weekly chart as well. So I do expect this thing to come back down probably to about 156. Um, however, this cute little pennant pattern, if we break, a, if we gap above the highs, of this candle of 161. If we gap above there, this thing is going to very quickly fill this gap um, that we had back in May. So keep your eyes on Barber for a long, if you're not in long already, um, looks like a really great trade. Here's Walmart. Walmart is at resistance right now, um, but if we take a look long term, we could probably break out here, to be honest. Uh, I'd probably be looking at, if you're in shares, look to sell some premium up here. Um, but most likely, we are probably going to break break this trend. Um, volume is sort of diminishing a little bit. If we do get a dip, it's probably only going to be to about 106, which is this level right here. So... Um, from from there, look for a dip buying opportunity to go long, but Walmart looking really, really nice. Here's gold, just making some really beautiful moves. I did post last on Tuesday about my analysis on the, the dollar index and Mr. Squiggles still putting in a little bit of work here, looking really, really nice. Um, from here, I'm still neutral to bullish on on gold, but uh, pretty much keep your eyes on the dollar index. If we start to turn down here, I would really start to be looking to go long on gold. Um, obviously, on a dip buying opportunity, if we do break out, look to buy the retest. Um, but yeah, gold looking really, really nice. And here's the Aussie dollar. Guys, I've been speaking about this for probably the last few weeks. If you didn't get in short right here, um, there was another opportunity to go short here and pretty much we are going back down to the lows. Um, from here, keep holding if you're in, if you're in short. Looks really, really nice. Aussie dollar looking pretty bearish. So, um, yeah, guys, pretty much I, I, I'd be looking to just keep, keep short, keep shorting when, you know, short the highs and, uh, and, and buy the dips if, if it ever does happen. If it comes back down to the lows, you know, 60, 68, 68, 68, 68, uh, then I'd most likely be looking for a 
a small bounce, but most likely there will be another another retracement higher and then a fall. That's the Aussie dollar. Here's the all odds. Now we are at really re okay. We're really at a nice level here. Um, if we do start to see some higher highs in the overall markets. Um, I'd probably expect this thing to follow as well. Um, but right now, cute little inside day bullish candle. If we do break these lows, um, we probably will retrace a little bit, um, but still overall still quite bullish. Um, still quite bullish on these markets. Just look to buy as low as possible, basically. BHP. Wow. What a trend. This is just, this is just crushing higher. Um, if you take a look at the weekly chart, we've broken above this line, which I said that most likely we would do. And from here, uh, there is not that much, there's not that much room in the way of resistance, probably up until about 44, which is back here. So, if you're in BHP shares, which I know a lot of people are, it is a great company to hold long term. They are linked with the iron ore. So if we just take a quick look at the iron ore futures and we are just still crushing higher um, at over $106 a ton right now, um, the next levels of resistance are probably going to be one, roughly 110 and then above that probably 120. So... At these levels, you're probably going to see BHP slow down a little bit, but uh, the iron ore train still going, still going strong. Uh, we did have a beautiful breakout here, and we could just keep going higher here, guys. Just so stay long on 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 BHP, and if you're in the futures on iron ore, then stay long. Here's CBA. Now I mentioned on Tuesday that it would have been a really nice time to sell an in the money covered call on the shares that you already own either an 80 an 80 dollar or a 79 dollar covered call um, that would have been a really great opportunity just to lock in some profits and lock in some gains uh, and just lock in some premium to be honest um, but uh, from here guys most likely we will chop around a little bit sideways uh, on CBA so CBA looking really really good um, but keep keep holding long. Domino's Pizza, I actually bought some pizza the other day from Domino's and it was delicious. Good old pepperoni pizza. Um, okay, sorry, I'm getting carried away here. So Domino's Pizza, looking really good. We had a nice tweezer bottom on the daily chart just two, two and a half weeks ago. So this was a really good support level. We've been speaking about this for probably the last couple of months now and it is a really great time to buy low buy low and sell high so if you're not in shares domino's pizza looking really really great for a long here's apt now apt glorious glorious pullback i'm going to be definitely getting into shares on um after pay it is really really popular here in australia uh, the the whole after pay concept is really 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 great um, buy now, pay later. Uh, looking really, really good. We are at the 100 simple moving average and most likely we will chop around sideways like we did here. So from here, I mean, we could obviously just bounce straight out of here, but I am hoping for something like this to occur. Oops. I am hoping for something like this to occur and, uh, you know, let this 200 simple moving average come in because that would that would play out for a very nice bull run straight after that. So it could bounce straight out of here, but definitely just if you're looking long term, we are becoming, we are coming to a very nice buy low sell high location. So APT looking really, really good for a long. Here's zero limited accounting software forming a triple top. Um, right here after a nice little gap and go, which we did gap and go, by the way. Uh, from here, guys, most likely we are going to chop around sideways. We are going to accumulate, uh, we are going to distribute right here. Um, and this is going to be very, very, very choppy. Probably come down slightly 
and then uh, look to go higher, let the moving averages come into play. But zero looking really, really good. Um, look to lock in some profits on zero if you're in shares. Here's Telstra, just beautiful double bottom on the weekly chart. And most likely, if we just take a look at the monthly, next target on Telstra is $4.27. If you take a look at the weekly chart, that is matching up with the 200 on the weekly and also the 200 on the monthly chart. So expect there to be some resistance up here. You know, if we do, if you're in shares, look to sell some sell some covered calls to lock in some premium up here. And from here, I mean, we'll, we'll see what happens, but most likely we do get a little bit of a retracement from here, um, probably down to, yeah, probably back to, back down to about 380-ish. Uh, so from here, guys, Telstra are looking really great. Uh, I just want to finish up on RES. I've heard a few people speaking about this. Um, guys, RES, to me, it looks like a pump and dump. Um, I know they do have a little bit, a little bit going on behind the scenes about you know investing in Africa and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but RES, if you if you didn't buy shares down at five cents, um, obviously, if you if you're looking to try and double your money, this is going to have to jump. You know, a fair a fair a fair hike. It's probably going to have to come all the way up to thirty seven cents. It could happen if you do want to speculate on RES. We are still quite low, and yes, this thing could run bullish, but a lot of people talking about this thing going to $4. Uh, I don't know where they're getting their information because it's never been there before. It's been at $2, and it, sold, it completely sold off. Um, plus, they also had the reverse stock split back here. So, um, <laughs> RES, guys, if you, you know, a lot of people saying, oh, this is a really great thing, you know, so it's people talking about it, the media is talking about it. So if you're looking to go long, just be expected, just ex put in what you're expected to lose, to be honest. RES does look like a pump and dump. Um, but yeah, most likely this thing is probably just going to dwindle back down to five cents. Uh, but that's it. That's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this stock review. If you want me to, look, if you want me to review any tickers, Next week on Tuesday, leave them in the comments below. And if you haven't already subscribed, just hit that little red subscribe button just below this video and, uh, and hit that little bell as well. And we will, you'll get all our notifications as I bring out some more videos. Um, it's been a pleasure, guys. I'll see you guys next week. And until then, love life, live life, and trade it. See ya.